Hello and welcome to the most important part of the video, which is observed hash rates and efficiencies. Um, this is just a really simple spreadsheet that lists the hash rate, the wattage. Uh, the PMD was used and confirmed on all of this stuff. And uh, you can see the minor versions I used as well. The rest of the video is just going to be excerpts from the stream from live testing the card. But if all you're looking for was the miners and efficiencies, you can probably just dip out now. Look at this beautiful CMP 30HX. Uh, they're okay on Dynax, Rondi. I actually pre-tested these, so don't hate me. But uh, I'm going to run through all the results with you guys with some live hash rate testing. Okay, so you can see right here, memory has idle state, which is P8405. But it does not have 810. 19.4 souls, 77 watts, 0.251 efficiency. It looks like 0.33 is our best efficiency. If we run 13, 10, 200. So let's go ahead and move over to that real quick. All right, so I have swapped over the clocks to 13, 10 core. I requested 810 memory just to show you guys that it doesn't work. Um, obviously Flux would prefer 5,000 anyway. The card on efficient clocks is doing 17.11 souls at 55 watts. That is worse than I was getting in testing. I was getting 18 souls at 54 watts. Not sure what's happening there. Maybe I didn't give the miner enough time. Meow. Absolutely. <laughs> Yep, Rondi's here, absolutely hilarious. I'm, I'm scrolling back up really briefly just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Nope, you guys are good. Go ahead and don't smash it, but just like give the like button a single click if you would be so kind. We're gonna move over to Dynex. I'm gonna push that flight sheet over real quick. So 1310 core, 200 offset, 5000 mem. So on my testing, I was actually running 250 offset on the higher clocks, but I was running 200 on you might be right, this is actually a different card, so let's try dropping it. But I was running 1310 core, 200 offset, 5000 mem, and we were pulling 2670 hash at 48 watts. Between 42 and 60 watts. I'm not sure what to believe. 58 is actually a little higher than I'm seeing here for the most part. Oh yeah, it didn't lock. That would do it. Alright, 2. Point 528 at 52 watts here. So before I was getting 2.67 kilohash at 48 watts. Now we're getting 2.58 at 49. It's worse, but it's not a ton, ton worse. Uh, and for the record, this is the CMP 30HX's, this way, uh, it's the closest to profitable thing you can currently run. So if you're on a power conscious budget, the 30HX, this week anyway, if you were on 12 cent power with this card with decent overclocks like this, you would actually be able to mine and sell for a profit. So if you need something like that, Dynex is unfortunately your white knight. Let's move on to Nexa. And on this one, our most profitable clocks are... Not most profitable, most efficient. So yeah, 13, 10, 200, 5,000, which is going to be the 150. Nexa. So we should be seeing 28 mega hash at 60 watts. And that's roughly what we're seeing here, which is an efficiency of 0.459. And we're using lol minor 1.76a. 5.39. So 13, 10, 200, 5,000. I really wonder, ooh, I bet we can get away with the 200 offset. All right, will it mine with a 200 offset or did I kill it? Hey, so she'll take a 200 offset on a core algo. So I was doing 221 at 41. I'd say that's pretty reasonable. I think that's pretty representative of, uh, of the Kespa. Le Kespa, oui. All right, CASP has leveled out 219.9 mega hash, 40 watts. That's the most efficient. We were able to get up to 298 mega hash at 55 watts. 
So we did that, 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 that. Let's go on to Ironfish and Elysium. Hey, guys, I figured out why it's crashing. I have a 350 offset in here. Whoops. Okay, Elysium, 565 mega hash, 52 watts. That's actually pretty good. Um, before I was getting 509 at 46, so lower hash and lower watts. However, this efficiency is pretty good. It's, it's over 11 mega hash per watt. Okay, uh, let's grab Ironfish next here. So we're doing 5.897 giga hash on Ironfish at 54 watts. Actually, that's pretty good hash rate. This is better than the last card I tested, so I wonder... I don't know, it's got to be the slight variance in OC. I was running at 250 offset before, so it must not have liked that too much. Okay, Kapow. We were doing... Let's see, the best results were 13, 10, 200, 5,000. Okay. So initially, we were doing only 10 mega hash, which is pretty bad. I was able to get 11.4 with that initial overclock at 67 watts, or up to 15 mega hash at 128. Yuck. Nope. No thanks. All right, 10.32 mega hash at 75 watts. That seems not great. That's actually really not great. So let's try 1790, 100, 7,000. We're gonna call that 14 mega hash at 123 watts. All right, let's do uh, Ergo. That'll be our final one. I don't have a Conflux wallet. Uh, I would test it for you if I did. Nice hash. Oh wait, no, I can't. That wasn't a problem. I tested it with nice hash, and the DAG file for Conflux is over six gigabytes. 31.16. Looks like that didn't change. Okay. All right. Oh, did I crash it? Oh, I think I might have crashed it. That load average is, is bad. Bad news. All right, Pigeon. 8.56 mega hash. That seems pretty bad. Okay, we upped it to 96.73. What's our power? Oh, not bad. We're at 58.62 watts. 68. 62. Yeah, it's over-reporting on this one, too. It looks like when you were on an algo that jumps all over the place, it kind of tends to take the highest wattage. Hey, look at that. Up to 11. 11 mega hash. That's not... Oh, look at the wattage, though. 118. Yikes. Yeah, we were better off with the, uh, the lower cores, for sure. But at least we tested Pigeon. I'll, I'll put it in my little spreadsheet here, because... Yeah, RetroMic will be pissed.